Welcome guys back to my channel. My name is Gladwell Kozak. Uh, in today's video, uh, as you can see, uh, I will be showing you how I just do my main uh, cleaning. Uh, the area we are concentrating today will be in my living room, which, um, as you know, because I have young children, uh, my son is seven, so he tends to play with his Lego toys and other things and he leaves the place a little bit messy and then when he gets ready for school he tends to just leave things scattered about uh, so uh, hopefully you will enjoy this one As you can see here, I am trying to uh, declutter and um, get rid of all the electronics that uh, are no longer in use, all the extra um, uh, box set uh, equipment that we no longer use or need, all the tablets that are on, no longer in use, so um, they're all good to be getting rid of and I will also have extra and spare space for putting other things um, in that drawer. Um, I tend to clean up as I go so uh, for wiping down I wipe down the tables I wipe down the television and the other outer spaces where dust tend to accumulate uh, on a daily basis uh, but the main cleaning I really do it at the end of the weekend because um, I am a 
mum but I am also a full-time um, employee so I don't tend to have time to do all the cleaning I just do mainly what I am able to do and the rest of the uh, major cleaning I do over the weekend Uh, for me by choice I prefer using uh, warm water and just ordinary uh, dishwashing soap uh, to clean my um, surfaces. I prefer not to use uh, too many chemicals because at the end of the day I am also thinking about the environment and about uh, health so um, it's good if you can avoid using too many chemicals especially when you are using different chemicals to clean up different things at the end of the day um, they would or they could affect um, your health really so uh, the less the better I am um, not an advocate but I prefer not to have too many chemicals around my home It is always advisable every once in a while to just remove all the cushions and um, uh, vacuum the seats because that's where so many things tend to just fall over the crumbs and all that kind of stuff. Uh, especially for me because I have um, a young boy so he tends sometimes to eat his snacks on the sofas and they tend to have lots of crumbs and also his toys the little lego bits and all that kind of stuff they all tend to just be hidden and fall under the um, 
cushions and uh, it's always good to clean those areas as well while you vacuum uh, the floors in your house. So guys, I have finished uh, cleaning up um, and just uh, decluttering some of the electronics in the on the TV cabinet. So I'll be getting rid of them rather than just keeping them here. Uh, hoping to use at some point, which is not going to happen. So um, everything is done. The vacuuming. So the room is all nice and clean and yeah when the children come back from school um we are all going to be in a clean nice uh living space especially because our living space is not that big so it's both our sitting room as well as our dining room so as you saw on on the cleaning video I tend to clean all those areas which tend to get um, dusty um, when I'm doing just the uh, general cleaning but when I do a deep clean then it means I will do uh, a little bit more than what I did on this video which I will do at some point cleaning cleaning up the windows um, Pulling up, uh, changing the. I am also planning to change the deco. Um, spring and uh, summertime, so I'll have a little bit of a different kind of deco. So, um, if you enjoyed this uh, cleaning uh, motivation video, uh, do remember to give it a like. Uh, 
a thumbs up and yeah you can also subscribe so that uh, you will follow us and know when we put up new videos like this so uh, guys thank you very much for watching and uh, hope to see you next time bye for now